must answer calls and know how to qualify leads. And one of the things we see all the time is that excavation septic business owners will run these ad campaigns themselves, for instance, but then no one is there answering the phone. And studies show within five minutes of someone filling out a form or a call, they're on to the next company. That's literally how quick it is. So it's strongly suggested it's a must that someone must answer the phone. And if they fill out a contact form, to be right in touch with them in you know minutes. So <clears throat> a well thought out lead form and phone script should be used for qualifying inbound leads. All right, so if they call in, have something nearby you of your qualifying questions. Same thing with the lead form that as soon as they fill out that lead form, when you're calling them back, have your, your little script of qualifying questions ready that you're going to answer. You want to create a repeatable and predictable sales process. And this only works if you set up your ad campaigns right from the start. And I'm going to show you how to do that. And your landing pages must be on point to convert leads. I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. And you should know your numbers in advance. Okay. So here's an example. How many leads to make an appointment? Going off what you already have and in the info for your business, on average, how many leads to make an appointment? Type in Q&A right now. Henry and Angela, based on leads you have coming in currently, is it five leads for you to get an appointment? Is it 10? Not every lead's gonna be a good lead. So what I'm just curious, what are your numbers, guys? If if um how many leads must come in for you to actually generate a quality appointment? Go ahead and type in QA. And don't be ashamed. There's no judgment here. Or are you not getting appointments? Type that in too. We're going to fix it all today. So you might as well get the most out of this. Because if it's just me talking, I can guarantee you're going to fall asleep. Anyone? How many leads must come in for you to get an appointment right now? Angela's just starting out. Okay. Well, that's cool. It's a fresh start. So if it's five leads to get an appointment, then you have an idea that, okay, if I'm paying, say, 40, 50 bucks a lead, that let's say 50 bucks a lead, 50 times five is 250. Now I know it's $250 for me to book an appointment. Henry's a new company too. Okay, cool. So we want to just start tracking things as leads come in from our ad campaign, how many leads to make an appointment, and then how many appointments to send a bid because especially if you're starting out, you're gonna be perhaps going out to visit tire kickers because you're not so familiar with the sales process yet. You're still trying to dial that in. Um, and so if they sound nice on the phone, you might just be going out there and then they say, well, you know, I had no idea it was gonna cost that much. <laughs> and so there's no reason to send out a bid, right? Um, how many bids to make a sale? So not every single bid is going to turn into a sale. I wish that were the case. But you will start getting these numbers. You're going to start knowing your, your averages. And, and by, doing, by doing this and keeping track, you'll know how much it costs to get a lead. And you'll know how much it costs to send out an estimate. And then you'll know how much it costs to buy a customer, to actually purchase a customer online. And then what will your average sale amount be? So if you're running ads for different services like land clearing or septic installs, what have you, 
drain field replacement, you're going to start learning your average costs. And then how many sales are required to break even and turn a profit? And how much are you willing to invest? So let's talk about how to set up and structure your pay-per-click marketing campaign for your excavation and septic services for a minimum cost per lead and a maximum return on investment. So first thing, conversion tracking is a, a must. And I'll, I'll share with you what I 